Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs and I have a problem. Let me let me tell you about this. I'm farming up my flak on Mayhem 11 slash Mayhem 10 for the first time, and I got a pretty nice bounty hunter class mod, but it boosts pistols more than anything else. So I was thinking, okay, well, I have my first monitor because the Thomas Fork, not so great. But what kind of pistol can I use that can also pump similar damage? And the one answer I thought of was the light show. So here we are in the obsidian forest we're gonna be farming the light show today and he spawns right in here and he's got a chance to drop one of the best weapons in the game the light show so i'll do one kill here see how fast i can do it and then to see how far we can get if you enjoy borderlands farming you're in the right place because this is what we will be doing i think i'll do one or two kills there we go and our first light show oh crazy wait that's a crazy first roll Oh, fadeaway is active? I'm rocking a fadeaway build. All right, let's, let's take it and get out of here. So, I'm going to be farming more and more, but for a first roll, getting one that gives me fadeaway or damage on fadeaway is really, really nice. Um, it's definitely going to be up there, like, as far as guns that I'm going to want to be keeping. Let's see, yeah, this negating ruthless light show. If we take a look at these parts... Damage, damage. Its damage is a little bit less, but it's got a larger magazine. So um, we're going to try this out. It's our first time trying out this light show. It has no secondary fire mode. Let's try this. So I've been you know, trying to gear up this flak as best I can. And I've, and I've gotten to a pretty good stable point. I don't have the most OP gear, but I've got just enough gear to, to get myself on Mayhem 10. I'm not on Mayhem 11. I'm on Mayhem 10 trying to do my best to... I'll clean up to get a lot of kills and the light, the light show is one of those guns that you definitely want to be grabbing the, the cryo is very nice here we're back in the fadeaway when fadeaway is active i get bonus damage very sick and you drop me a recursion so i'll be here and i'll be bringing you guys in on the farm as we go along i'll see you guys in a second okay here we are approaching for kill number three let's go into fadeaway With all the projectiles, it's hard to see my target. I would like to get one that isn't elemental for that exact reason. Well, into fadeaway, get a quick reload off. The fadeaway is already back up. That was strange. Okay. He goes down and nothing on this run. Unfortunate. All right, let's keep going. For anybody wondering, like, where I am on the map, like, there are a million different guides out there for how to farm gear and do it. And, you know, where everything is in the map. If you need to look it up, search up light show. I'm sure you'll find something. Come on, come on down, friend. And I'm looking for a Nala and a Mental, as many pelts as I can muster. Loot Lemon does have, the website Loot Lemon does have a, like a god roll on there. Go, down goes Frazier, and his loot doesn't fall off the edge. Okay, nothing. Let's keep it running. The best pet to do this with is probably the Jabber, if you have enough damage to kill this thing quickly, because then you get the bonus movement speed. Um, but... For me personally, I'm going to be rocking the, the, the skag for the extra damage and gun damage. Alright, bring it on, homie. Toss a grenade this time to give me a little bit more boosted damage. Oh, that's nice. That's a one phase. Beautiful stuff. That's going to help our farming a lot more. Make sure we toss that grenade because we do have a on grenade throw weapon grenade and action skill damage is increased by 25% for 6 seconds grenade. So, we'll be able to clear this even faster if we can get ourselves a fire light show that would be incredible i guess i i could put a run counter up on screen for you guys but i mean if you see every kill anyways and that's what we're here for right we're here to we're here to farm bosses don't worry you, you won't miss a single one of these kills um nothing here all right let's keep going and when i say not a single one i mean i might mix it up and do something different but as of right now i mean the whole point is i'm doing this anyway i might as well look Record it. Here we go. Our second light show. It's a corrosive one. I'm not too excited about it, but it could be a nice boss shredder if we change its anointment again. It's not going to be my my absolute go-to for for general purpose use being a corrosive one. I'd much rather it be a radiation or a non, I kind of like non-elemental non on flak in general. And that's simply because 
of visual pollution. I like to keep the game nice and clean, and Flack is really good about that. And I, something I've been wanting to talk about as far as Borderlands 3 goes is how much fun I've been having with Flack in general. His skill trees, and it's like his skill trees are like each one of them is like a book. If you go over to this orange skill tree, it's like you have to read a whole bunch to figure out what's going on, but. When it comes down to actual gameplay, at least in his fadeaway tree, it's all very simple. You really just are just a DPS character. You know, you just you do it nice and simple. You just shoot your guns at them. And then oh, there are tons of builds online. I've seen all kinds of different builds. See a light show. Oh, no, it's an infinity. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go next. And I think what's cool about the... What's, what's cool about Flak is that... As a Moe's player, I'm used to blowing everything up. I'm used to, yes, I melt things, but I'm used to everything just kind of getting blown up everywhere. As Flack, I feel like I'm, I'm not necessarily earning it more because you know, every character has things that are really nuts and broken about them. But in Flack, for some reason, it just feels more satisfying. I, 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 I'm not sure what it is. I feel like it might be because I had to, you know, grind a little bit more to get my build to a point where it's actually good enough to do this stuff, but... See if I can one phase this lasso dactyl. There we go. Any good loot? No. So yeah, we got Mr. Chu here. Now, may when it comes to Mayhem 10 versus Mayhem 11, I play on Mayhem 11 almost exclusively, except for when I'm gearing a character up. Like Mayhem 10, the enemies are way, way easier to kill. Um, I should probably have a Schluter on for this for this farm, but I don't think I have a Schluter for this character. I like to keep my you know my schluter and stuff to one character if you saw my last video where i cleared out my entire bank i was playing as moe's my main character and i have a lot of stuff on her but we i was saying i want to make room for my flak here i want to make room for you know stuff for my for my flak to have that bank space oh and there's some nice legendaries coming out here transfusion longbow a light show with next two mags radiation um, I think this next two mags radiation on action skill end is it's not terrible, uh, but action skill start probably is what I'm looking for. I'm I'm not rocking a a revolter. I'm I'm going to try to play a lot without the revolter. I wouldn't mind slapping on a super soldier, but as of right now, my shield is a transformer. It's just a nice overall defense shield. I could be making this farm a lot faster, but again. Having all the gear right away, you know, is something that it happens over time, I should say. You don't get all your gear right away. And so this is like one of my favorite moments in Borderlands is when you are still, you're not exactly on your feet, but you're, you're getting close, you know. And I want to have a light show because I got a really nice bounty hunter to pair with it. Okay, here's a times force gamma burst action. Okay, we'll keep farming. I think I don't want to have to re-roll my iridium, right? I could farming for these light shows is I'm investing my time, and farming for iridium also invests time. But I'd rather sit here farming for light shows than going and doing iridium farming. I could just do iridium farming for you know however long, but it's that is really just the same thing over and over again. I think I might grab my light show. Then I might go farm for a revolter at Sumo. I mean, that seems like a pretty good place to start. I did have a, a revolter at a lower level that I used. Still haven't used one at Mayhem 10 or 11 yet on, on Flak. So Bangarang XL. If it was radiation, maybe it would go on my Moe's, but it's not, so we, we don't use it. Well, let's, let me know in the comment section. Anyone that, that that's a flak enjoyer, let me know what I should be farming. Any if you have any unconventional picks, I can show you guys right now what I'm rocking. Again, the monarch Rowan's call. I got this from Katagawa when I was using the crit to farm for Sandhawks. So I was farming for a Sandhawk to kill Kilovolt to get the monarch. So I was using the crit to kill Katagawa and then dropped a Rowan's call. So I'm like, oh, that's probably good enough. Um. I have a Krakatoa, I have a few different Monarchs, and now I'm rocking Light Shodes. So that's about what I've got so far. I'm sure there's tons and tons of different weapons. I just don't know which ones 
you guys have you know, weapons that you think or gear I, I should go for I'm, I'm I have a action skill start frozen snowshoe on my most character that I, I would love to farm another one for my flak go ahead and activate my action skill toss a grenade melt lasso dactyl what you got for me okay we got a radiation light show on action skill end we get bonus corrosive that's not terrible uh, it's next to max bonus corrosive which is not terrible at all okay that's not a bad light show is it going to be my main go-to? It's tough to say. I want, I'm not sure what kind of variance the light show can roll into. It's something I might check out right now. So the one I just saw online is Cryo, and it's 30,000 damage. Mine's 24,000 times 4. Cryo, so this could get a lot, lot stronger as far as base damages go. And even fire rate. How about my other one? The one I just picked up. This one's a lot lower damage. It's radiation. Okay. This light show might actually be a little bit better, but the fadeaway damage, I'm, I'm guessing it makes this one the best. So we'll keep going with this cryo one. And it can only spawn with four projectiles, but it looks like it's firing more than four projectiles. It's just, it is firing a ton of bullets, which is super nice because Flak is all about landing on hits. The more you hit enemies, you can reset your action skill cooldown, and it's just really nice in general. All right, let's go. If I stand still, I get more damage, so... Standing still is kind of useful, too. Here we go. Ooh, okay. This light show is less damage. Higher fire rate. Action skill and damage. I'm not sure how much I'm going to want to be using that. It is another... It's another cryo light show, which is nice. I would like a fire one. I would definitely like a fire one. But I'll keep farming, and then... You know, I... More light shows I have to choose from. At the end of the day, it's, it's just better. I would like a consecutive hits light show. But it's easier for me. I, I'd rather farm Lasso Dactyl than farm for Iridium. So I'd rather just sit here. Now, if I get like an absolute god roll one, I'll probably keep it and then go to reroll the augment. Alright. Gotcha. So there's a 33% chance for Lasso Dactyl to drop the light show. So every three kills, we'll be getting one. Which really isn't so bad. I've been thinking about getting a strong light show and then going back and killing Killavolt more for... for better monarchs because i think a times eight monarch would be really fun 16 pellets would be an absolute shredtation you know like a, just a boss cleanser all right let's do it stand still the cryo is definitely helping against this guy though and the fade away getting this one at first run was insanely lucky here we go Not nothing let's keep rolling but getting the money is quite nice too i i've already got my stus capped out so, I think this light show is, it's just one of those items that, as a most player, the light show was good, but it doesn't have built-in splash damage. So, as a most player, even though I could make it work with short fuse, it always felt like this gun's not really meant for me. You know, it's a great gun, it does really great damage, but it's really meant for somebody else, like somebody like Flak, you know? So I'm excited to farm this gun and use it because I don't think I'll be using something like the flipper on Flak, you know? I'm not going to go out of my way to get myself a flipper. That's that's my Moe's gun, you know? Um, but something like the Monarch, that's that's definitely more of a, a Flak special. And I have a times 8 non-elemental Monarch on my Moe's um, that I actually kept on her. I'm not going to be trading it over again. Again, I like to keep it nice and pure when it comes to my to my farms. The more pure I can keep it, the better. Honestly. Let's go. This farm is pretty simple. You just... You have to make it to Oletta in the... Bounty of Blood DLC. DLC 3. And then this... This farm is honestly really easy after that. You just... I use a, a snow drift and run over here. Alright, let's go. Toss my nade. Stand still. It's easy when it stands still. 
my legendary goes off the edge. It wasn't a light show anyway. That's one thing about Lasso Doctor you got to be careful for. Don't want your loot going off the edge. And yeah, there's the lost loot machine, but it's back on Sanctuary. I do enjoy farming in BO3. I think it's it's one of the biggest parts of the game. It's one of my, like, I don't know, it's just... I'm a, I'm a Pokemon player too. Like I don't mind this kind of this kind of gameplay. This is something that I enjoy. All right, come come a little bit closer this time. Okay, I'll, now I'll chuck and I'll stand still and spray. Here we go. But no ledgy this time. Keep it rolling. With the Borderlands movie coming out, I'm excited. It's it's really getting me in the mood to play Borderlands, but I think a lot of people are starting to come back to the game. It just I'm getting that sense based on like the content creation spaces and what people have been saying. Like I actually got one of my friends to start playing the game, and that's always fun when someone you add someone new to the Borderlands universe. It is a fun game. There's just I told him like there's so much to do with Ice Skyrim, you'll never be able to you can't do everything. You can do everything, but like don't set that as your expectation, because it, it's a lot. I cannot see where this guy goes. Don't worry, we'll get him on the second magazine here, hopefully. Yep, got him. No legend here, but we're stacking up on our iridium, which is nice. That's going to give us those. What's usually nice about these kind of farms is you get the iridium that you need for the reroll. I'm not sure if I want to... I'm not sure what is the best anointment for Flak. I think this fadeaway one seems really nice. I mean, I'm not sure if consecutive hits is better, but when fadeaway is active, weapon damage is increased by 150%. Is pr it feels good. It definitely feels strong. Consecutive hits feel strong too. Maybe next two mags is the way. I really don't know. I'm enjoying this farm. I hope you all are too. All right, chuck this nade off to the side. Let me know what you guys are. If you guys are farming anything, let me know what you're farming for. What's your What's your? Do you have a farm? What What it do be? Let's see, a deluxe mother two. I'm not even sure what that is, but it, we have a light show, a twenty thousand times four radiation, and it's got a flak attack. But yeah, it's got a it's got a rack attack on it, which is nice. I'm not sure how good the 20,000 is for radiation. Yeah, again, it's going to do... I think it's going to kick out one of my other ones. Let's go do a comparison here. We've got two light shows, both radiation. They both can't stay. This one's higher base damage and higher fire rate, which means this one goes bye-bye forever. Okay, so I have a cryo one already. That's it's higher. Mine's higher damage, slower fire rate, but it's already got a decent anointment on it. So that one goes bye bye forever. This light show's days are numbered for sure. Non elemental one, but we're gonna. I what I learned from my last backpack opening is that I'm, I want to be really picky which ones I keep. And I don't want my backpack to be completely full. I don't want my bank to be completely full. I like the feeling of having everything I need just in my backpack. All right. Activate. There we go. Looks like maybe a light show. Here we go. Corrosive light show with 24,000 damage at 8.61 second. 8.61 fire rate. That seems like really high. Yeah, it's better than my other one by a long shot. Okay, gone forever. See ya. See ya. How could you do that? <laughs> Dropping light shows on the ground. Listen, this is a Borderlands 3 end game. 33% drop chance. Pay to win, brother. Pay to win. But when I have to fight bosses like the aliens um, during the Guardian takedown, listen, I need everything I can get. Everything I can get. I think action skill and anointments are good enough, but action skill start anointments are good too. Alright, chuck a nade. Goodbye, Lasso Dactyl. Have a beautiful time. Don't hit me. That's just not cool, brother. 
see. Here we go. Light show. Oh, hey. Stop that. I'm trying to look at some light shows. Hey. Let's see. How is it against mine? It's faster fire rate, lower damage, but it's comparable. It's comparable, but it's... But it's... Anointment is worse, and... I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be... Spending Iridium to turn a... You know, a... The same... To try to make the pretty much the same light show slightly better than the one I've got now, like... Maybe a consecutive hits if it's the same, but right now, as far as cryo light shows, this one's gonna be hard to beat. You can always get the damage higher. Like again, cryo light shows, the the god roll is thirty thousand damage at an eight point two second fire rate. Mine's five k less than that with a slower fire rate. So my cryo light show can get a lot better. It's just that wasn't the one, you know. Okay. Come back down to us, brother. Here we go. What'd you drop for me? A light show. Looks like we got something with fade away on it. Weapon damage is increased by 150%. However, it is lower damage. It's lower damage and lower fire rate, but its magazine size is bigger. I'm going to stick with the better anointment. Call me crazy. I'm sticking with the better anointment. I think anointments carry so much power that I want the one with fade away. This is I, I mean I'm playing fade away flak. Maybe in the in the future I'll want to change, but that's the whole point of farming for new gear, right? I don't want a million light shows in my inventory. It just gets annoying. I want one, maybe two light shows. I'm farming for that one amazing one. Okay, oh, for the first time, I got a buff, buddy. If you guys want to see my Mayhem modifiers, here they are. Uh, I think these ones are probably the best. Um, the easiest ones. Galaxy Brain, for Flak, as I'm trying to do more damage, it's really nice to be able to crit things easier when I don't have Fade Away open. Healing Avenger, extremely easy one. If you're going for medium, this one's insanely easy. Ticked Off, this one is super good. Um... Because I'm, status effect damage doesn't really matter for me at all. And buddy system. The only thing annoying about buddy system is that they can be hard to tag. But other than that, it's just like insanely good. It doesn't. The enemies don't get that much from just getting a temporary immunity, right? Wait, that wasn't even Lasso Dactyl. There's Lasso Dactyl. Slow down, homie. I'll ping him so I can see him easier. That's a that's a much better idea. I didn't throw a grenade. That's why I couldn't one phase him there. He goes down. Light show me. The blank. Hmm. Hey. I'm not going to be keeping it. I'm sure it's decent, but I'm trying to keep my inventory. I'm trying to keep it nice and tight. I don't want it to be overcrowded with any one weapon. I've already got so many light shows in inventory. It's taking, staying focused on the mission at hand. All right, slide on out. Where you at, Lasso? Fade away. Grenage. I should be pinging him, but... Doesn't look like it's a light show, but it might be. Yeah, it's a rebel yell. Okay. If you guys can see, this is a really fast farm. You can get yourself a, a light show. I think this is something that people know. Like, the flipper, the light show, the DLC three weapons in general. You can get really easily by just simply whacking them. Okay. Let's keep it rolling. I, I would love to get, like, at least one fire one. I believe it can come in fire, so... A fire light show would be extremely nice. Alright. Activate. Move a little bit. Activate. Stand still and kill. Very easy. As you can see, the the, the runs get cleaner as we go because you learn more about the fight each time. Like I learned a couple times ago that if I if I stand still in the same spot where I activated my fade away, 
then lasso dactyl knows where i am i take a bunch of damage so i gotta move to the side a little bit before i continue which is absolutely fine with me not against that at all as far as what i'll be doing i, I definitely want to be putting some like you know the content where i actually challenge like move to the side a little bit we're actually challenge the end game content i'm not sure when i'll be doing it i want to get completely ready geared up before i do it the robin's call interesting weapon interesting weapon i don't know the dlc three weapons that well this is i've never heard anyone talk about the robin's call so maybe i'm missing something if i'm if i'm rolling past god roll weapons let me know let me know okay keep it up i'm not sure how many kills we've done you know, having a kill counter up on screen could be kind of nice, but I'm sure there's a mod for it. I can I could figure out a way to install it, but we're chilling. Okay. Activate. I need you to come back here, brother. I don't want to shoot all the loot off the edge. There we go. Welcome back. Can we get our fadeaway really quick? We're using multi pellet weapons. Because we have on hit action skill cooldown. So the more pellets we have, the faster we get back our action skill, which is super, super nice. Once I get the light show, then it's again, it's probably going to be sumo for the revolter. Then it's going to be. We might do some. Some vault card farming for a super soldier. I, think I would like a guardian angel as well. What I'm missing right now is something pinpoint, like something that can, you know, sh shred with accuracy. The Robin's Call does a decent job at it, to be honest with you. Clean kill right there. Very clean kill. All right, let's go. I think we're getting decent XP from doing this. And we roll. But the last few last few kills, no light shows, which has been kind of tough. This way, yep, nope. This way. It is fun to you know to set a goal for yourself in Mayhem 10 or 11, which is like kill kill a vault, right? To get yourself a monarch. That's one of my favorite parts about the game. About Borderlands games in general, is like you set your own goals. Maybe this light show can kill that buddy system. If I could if I could tag it. Just can't see it very well. We ping it. Yeah, pinging it is the way to go. And then find Lasso Dactyl. What I could do is I could put I could put the ping button on a different spot in my mouse so that's easier to hit. Slow it down, Lasso brother. Any ledgies for me? No ledgies. All right, we roll again. keep it going i mean we still haven't seen a fire one we've seen a, f a bunch of corrosive ones i'm looking for a nice fire one if i could get a fire one that could really speed up my farms now if we really want to go for a faster kill we could probably just rock something like the, the krakatoa if you guys want to see some some fast kills action skill and weapon damage increase so it's not going to be exactly most synergistic with fade away but if our fade away does end which i don't think it will we can try it so let's try this first let's destroy you make sure to ping it so we can keep track of it here we go juke throw a grenade enter fade away lasso dactyl ping but i am in fade away okay i thought for a second i wasn't in fade away for some reason here we go again the krakatoa is a really good sniper rifle as well super good for farming these kind of fights biggest problem with the with the krakatoa is that it, it takes a little bit to charge up so if you can get like a malawan charge time last mod then that's that's pretty pretty a pretty legit way to do it pretty legit way to do it all right let's keep it rolling and go back to the Krakatoa attack. Hopefully there's no buddy system on it this time. There is. Take the extra time to 
Hang it. There we go. Toss a nade. Enter fade away. Ping lasso dactyl. Missed my ping on him. That's okay. Ooh, no kill on the one mag. That's okay. Come back. Come back. I'm over here. Okay, we should be good there. Nice. A light show. 30,000 damage times four. Get an extra stack of rack attack. And an unkept herald. Um, I think I will skip the unkept herald. I've just used it so much in Borderlands 2 that like I kind of gotten sick of it. I mean, in Borderlands 3, it's good too, but let's check out this. Let's check out this kinetic or also known as non-elemental light show to see how it stacks up against my other one. So 30, almost 31,000 time damage with a 7.45 fire rate. Not the greatest. My other one is slightly less damage, but the fire rate is well over a round per second, which is of course better. And we run on. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep it going for. We just hit the half hour mark, but I'm honestly I'm, I'm not slowing down. I'm sure these will get less views than the the Rogue Lands videos, but I'm just really enjoying Borderlands 3 right now. I think it has, you know, that certain something. Ever since I d I was able to add the dialogue skip to the game, and by add I mean delete certain files. Little Hornet and a ZX. An XZF1. Okay. Ever since I was able to... That's actually a next two mags radiation damage. Next two mags radiation damage Hornet. It'd probably be insane on Moe's, but this isn't Moe's. But this is not Moe's. There are items that I'm okay with transferring over between account... Between characters, and that would be the stuff from the vault cards. Stuff like the... I want to say, the, but it's tough because there is, it is complicated. So when I was farming the vault cards, it was on Moe's. So she earned that XP. But at the same time, it's account wide, you know, and I'm not sure, do, do the vault cards get harder? The vault cards get harder the more you do them because if so then i would definitely don't mind sharing okay this is a a light show okay how about we how about we not here's the thing about this light show is that it is better by a decent chunk but the anointment is just worse right now right so the anointment's worse right now but besides that it is so far i would say our best one it's a 25k piece, the same as ours right now, times 4, but the fire rate is much, much higher. It's 7.83 instead of 7.45, which is nice. It does have a 3 bullet smaller magazine, so the difference is negligible enough that I might consider keeping the old one. This one has fade away on it, the other one has rack attack, and I like rack attack. It's the other action skill that you can use. On flak. And by the way, I think I am going to change my ping control. Um, so if, if we can find ping. Right now it's middle mouse button. I'll make it mouse button too. There we go. Easy. Very easy. But however, I think that might mess with my pause feature. Let's see. Yeah, every time I unpause, you'll see me do like a little flick. It's actually kind of cool though. Okay, so. Toss this. Ping him. I don't get much damage because of how far away like, how far away he is. He needs to come back here. That would have been a nice time for a Krakatoa to do some damage, but I'm going to reload off. Let's get a grenade chuck off. Notice how I haven't had to buy ammo at all this entire time. The Satisfaction Launcher. Okay, it could be interesting, but um, that's not what I'm in the market for. I'm in the market for light shows. Light shows.
If I could get myself a light show, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Okay. It's not, I mean, if somebody knows how many runs we have done, then they can kind of gauge, but sometimes I don't want to know, you know? Okay. Let's house this. You're gone. Okay. What I might start doing is stop using the light show and use the previous farm weapon to farm the next farm weapon. That'd be a cool way to play the game. However, some weapons just simply aren't good at farming um, other weapons. Um, <laughs> if you ha if you have a bad matchup, like say if it's a if you have a slow moving shotgun in the bullets, like the super, how about the super ball pistol? We'll take that for instance. If you have the super ball pistol and you have to fight la laser uh, lasso and actal, it just won't work out. I could use this. This is my this is my consecutive hits times four monarch. This has been the carry ever since I farmed it, and I and I use my Rowan's call to farm it. Let's see how it does. We'll give it one chance against this bad boy. All right, no, I want to ping that. There we go. Now you're gone. So now I can ping the la the lasso dactyl. Obviously, this thing shreds, and the really nice part about it is it gets me back my fade away instantly. And then it just keeps up the shredtation right after that. So it's kind of broken. Okay, so here we go. A... Let's go ahead and get out my other... I don't really need my... Which one of these is better? This one is better. Okay, so... These are my two light shows that are in the running for number one and number two. So this is not elemental its damage is higher not that much higher hey stop it the fire rate is much better than the one i have now so unfortunately we will not be taking that one i might actually use this light show against lasso dactyl i won't have the fade away damage amplification maybe i do what's what's my uh, what's my anointment on this bad Larry? gamma burst is active gain 150 percent 115% radiation damage. This could be... No, but it's not radiation-based. If it was a radiation light show, holy cow. And we do... All get, like, that would be our Gamma Burst pistol. The Gamma Burst build. You know, Guardian Angel's probably just, like, better. Who knows? Okay, let's go. Let's see how it can do. Not elemental. Standing still. Okay, not bad. Okay, come back. There we go. Later, kid. Later, kid. All right. Keep me farming. I, I still haven't seen a fire one. I mean, am I cursed? Do fire ones not exist? Okay, fire ones don't exist. I still don't have my, my big HP bar shredtation device. You know, I have a Krakatoa. And it's been doing, you know, this Krakatoa has been doing a decent job at being a shredtation device. Better, more credit than I should have been given it. It honestly has been doing a fantastic job. But I would like it to be a pistol because I have the bounty hunter damage for pistol. And I could farm more bounty hunters for different things, but... I'm not sure how much I can farm the bounty hunter. Okay. Let's go. Maybe I'm still hitting there? Oh, I am still hitting there. So as a shredtation device, it hasn't really been doing poorly, and it's pinpoint accurate as well. And it's really its only weakness is the fact that one, it's only one projectile. Um, two, it's that charge up time. Other than that, it's it's pretty beastly. I start helix. We will not be using that. But on my bucket list right now, I would say is the light show. I would like a fire variant. I would like a really good radiation variant. I just want... I want something that is shredtation fadeaway that can help me shred killavolt. That's all. I, I just... I need to shred killavolt. Rowan's Call does a decent job. I don't have something that synergizes. Again, I'm not max build. I don't have something that synergizes with my bounty hunter. Look at this thing. Okay. 
this bounty hunter is a good role so i'm trying to just like i'm playing a roguelite the game gives me something i'm trying to build around it so that's why i'm farming light shows but the only light show it's giving me are these armor shredding ones which i'm down for an armor shredder but i would very much like something that can shred red hp bars and i crowd is a decent job Especially against stuff like Lasso Dactyl, like you'd be like, get Cryo does a really nice job. I would like a fire one. 34,000 damage. That's. That's almost certainly going to be. Better. Hey, you, you guys stop doing this. I'm gonna have to do some math. Okay? I need to do some Borderlands math if you don't mind. Stay away from me. Okay, so 34,000 damage times four. We can do this. We can do this math real fast. So we're going to be comparing. Let's see. Where's the compare feature? Comparing it against this new one. And we're going to be checking which one of these does more total DPS. So now to find this number, we're going to be going to our calculator. I'm just going to use my phone on the side real quick. But on the one on the left is 29. 365 times 8.61. It's going to be 252,000. We can round it up to 253,000. Can you remember that for me? 253,000? Thank you. Next is going to be 34,002 times 7. 2. Sorry. 34,002 times. 7.45 253,000 what was the other one was it 253,000 as well 2 9 3 6 5 times 8.61 yeah they're both 253,000 dps now i will roughly the one on the left technically has slightly lower dps than the one on the right i'm but i'm going to say that the augment on the one on the right is slightly better than the augment on the one on the left. Plus, it burns through less ammo, doing the same DPS, or sl actually slightly better DPS than the one on the left. This one does slightly higher DPS, just very slightly. It burns through the ammo slower, and it has a really nice augment or um, anointment already on it. That's a nice find. I'm not upset about that find at all. If that's the best if that's the best light show that we see in this video then i that that would be a win for me i would still like a fire one this fire is goaded against red hp bars as we know and you can push through like shields in this game aren't very tanky you can push through shields with a fire light show but i feel like the light show is is known for being a boss shredder so I really want a fun big old fire boss shredder. That's what I want. I don't I don't want I don't want to be forced to do this elemental crap anymore. I'm sorry, there's not elemental stuff anymore, you know? Come back. Don't do this. I could be farming it so much faster, but hey. Sometimes it's just about having fun with it, you know? Besides, those are the ones that give you the best weapons anyway. Okay, so let's do a quick check. Its damage is most certainly going to be much, much higher. That's a nice one. I don't get the fadeaway bonus with it. So if we do a, a quick compare, I don't get the fadeaway bonus with it. It's, it's a gamma burst one. But the damage is going to be much, much higher. And the magazine size is actually bigger. We can actually run those numbers real quick to see how much better it actually is. So the one on the left is 24522 times 9.02. 225,000. Okay. That's slightly less DPS than the other one. Than the, than the, the not elemental. I, actually, it's not slightly less. It's, it's a lot less. 225,000.6. Okay. 225.6. Now, the one on the right, if we multiply that by its fire rate, 24960 times 
7.45, you get 185,000. So that's a significant damage drop off. That's 225,000 to 185,000. Extreme, that's a huge drop off in damage. Plus this one has a higher magazine size. It's a significant upgrade. Yes, the... Yes, the... Let's see, 2.5... Let me just sure I did that right, because I, I think I might have gotten mixed up in that menu. Let's see. 2.4522 two, two times 9.02. 2, two, two times 9.02 equals... 221,000. Make sure we got this right. 24522 two times 9.02 equals 221,000. And the other one. Is 24960 times 7. 24960 times 7.45. Yeah, 185,000. So the one on in my inventory now is a much higher DPS. It's just that it doesn't have the best anointment on it. But we can fix that. I don't mind fixing it for that big of a damage increase. It's a much it's a mu it's a huge damage increase. Right? You just divide the numerator by the denominator and to multiply or the Whatever it is, and then multiply by 100. Yeah, the smaller one divided by the bigger one. I should probably have it on screen, but here we are. Okay, so now that I know that my light show isn't really the... Doesn't have the best augment, I could try it against this lad. And maybe the DPS increase will be there, but I'd rather just kind of maybe... Use my... My puppy for a bit. So I still I still have to reload this this bad Larry. This monarch, but No, don't go off the edge. Oh, a flipper. That's a consecutive hits flipper. I know I said I wouldn't use a flipper, but that's a consecutive hits flipper. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The things you find on these farms. Consecutive hits flipper. Incredible stuff. Okay. We're going here. That's my nade. Bipod out. Where are you going? Come on back. You can't kill me. I'm too powerful. Okay, when I said you couldn't kill me, I meant that you you couldn't. You couldn't stop me from getting back up from fighting for my life because my pet would revive me, obviously. Which, by the way, is a broken skill. Broken. Let's say we go for the one. We go for the one hour mark, and then we might call it. Decent amount of time farming for it. I mean, I, I want to get this the fire light show. I quest for a one fire light show, episode one. Don't I mean. All I would want is this one fire one. It's the guy I gotta do. So my light show, I still, I think it might be my highest damage weapon. I think the the other one might be a little bit stronger because the augment right now. A Gatlin gun. And a shock light show. Oh, that's something. We got a shock light show. It's not fire, but I appreciate it. It's not fire, but I appreciate it. Now, I do have a low level revolter I could try to put on. I mean, it it wouldn't hurt. All right, I have a level 49 revolter. It, it, it won't not help my damage it's just that i'm not sure how much it's actually going to do okay let's use our non-elemental one this time it does more dps 
and it has the weapon damage active. Yeah, this should be my my best boss shredder right here so, right now. All right, toss a grenade, ping. Oh yeah, now that's a boss shredder. Okay, cool. Now we could have the same thing against a lot of different bosses if we just get the fire version. <laughs> but it eludes me. So we have okay. We we found our light show of the future for now. It's this non-elemental one. It's got a nice augment. The cryo one could use some work. It doesn't have. I keep saying augment. I mean anointment. You know. You know what I mean. It doesn't have the best anointment on it, which is a big deal. But all right, let's go ahead and toss a grenade. Enter my phase. Oh my gosh, the kills are gonna speed up. They are going to speed up. Wow, he's just getting evaporated now. Yeah, Flak plus the light show plus this bounty hunter class mod is ridiculous. And Flak is my dude. Moses is my girl, but Flak is my dude. Even though Mo I'm pretty sure Flak doesn't have a um, an associated gender, it's usually referred to as them or it in the game. So in my mind, I think it's four robots to make up one bigger one. That's what I think. Wow. The shredtation is real. Holy cow. Fire light show me. Fire light show. Yes. Huge get. Okay, so. Engulfing ruthless light show. Is that one of each element? Yeah. We, we farming one of each element in under an hour. Now I can re-roll this. I can re-roll this augment. And you know what? We'll go to we'll go to sanctuary right now and we'll do that. We'll go to sanctuary right now and we'll do that. Because if I can get a decent anointment on this fire one, I could just I could have just called this video farming um for god roll or farming one of each element god roll light show something like that you know what i'm saying let's just go back to sanctuary and see how much iridium we have to spend on re-rolling this fire light show i know i don't have much because i drained it getting in an action skill start revolter that 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 one i just was using so the shredtation is real for real Okay, I'm down. So first up is this fire light show. Reroll, action skill end, deal some damage, absolutely not. Gamma burst is active, nope. Rack attack damage, nope. Okay, next two mags radiation is good and I don't have another, I don't have enough for another reroll, so. We're just gonna be next two mags radiation, that's really not bad. It's actually quite good. So all of these are pretty nice for me. Um, the one that I'm not going to be using is this one. So let's go ahead and clean it out. And then I'll have all my light shows um, laid out. And I can show you guys, you know, the the final the final recap. Let's do it. Let's sell. And we're going to be selling. Make sure we don't get sell any of our major ones. As much as that this one has more damage overall, th that one can go. Okay, we only have one radiation one, so we keep that. We keep the fire one for sure. This one can go. This one can go. And the other one is equipped. I think I have two of them equipped, which is which is the other one. It, it is the cryo one. We swap away from cryo. That's right. But the other one... Yeah. We have to keep both. It is what it is. Okay. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. Now, see you all in the next one. Bye.